Let's cross over to Criselda Lewis now, who's standing by um, to cover that private funeral service. I know that they have been waiting for the remains that uh, uh, to arrive at the house. It certainly looks like that is it's what's happening now. But let's cross over to Criselda, and she can give us all the details. Criselda? Well, Leanne, uh, indeed, uh, the pictures uh, that are now live uh, from the Mandela family home are of uh, family members who've just concluded a, a prayer service uh, now preparing for the body of uh, Zolega Mandela to leave the family home. That's about to happen in just a moment now. In fact, um, from where we are uh, standing at this particular stage, I know that uh, those remains are now being brought from downstairs uh, that you will see in just a moment, uh, Leanne. And uh, this is the moment, of course, that the family says uh, really hits home for them at this particular time, which brings this moment uh, to finality in the sense that um, this for them now is the moment, of course, that brings home, you know, the fact that uh, Zolega Mandela is uh, no more. She will be laid to rest, as you correctly pointed out, uh, at the Four Ways Memorial Park. This will be a private ceremony uh, that will take place. And um, this, of course, is where uh, the cortege will leave from and uh, head from here to the Bryanston Methodist Church. That's where a service will be held. And after that service is held, that after that is then concluded, her body then will be laid to rest at the Four Ways Memorial Park. The poor bearers um, are now bringing down that uh, coffin from inside uh, the Mandela family home. And of course, you would know in terms of um, culture, there are of course some traditions that need to be performed before her remains are brought out of the family home. You recall late last night, that is when her body had arrived here at the home and of course spent uh, the night here. The family also holding a night vigil yesterday, uh, late into the evening in the company of close family and uh, relatives and close friends as well. You will hear some of the family members um, in song accompanying that coffin as it comes from down those stairs at this time. So that is the moment that is taking place in just a short moment. So Lega Mandela, of course, uh, celebrated as an author as well as um, an activist, you would know that she'd been battling cancer for a very long time, but many have marveled, from many of the people that we've spoken to, marveled at her resilience despite her illness and um, the strength that she had is certainly what has been resonating for many of the people that have spoken about the life of Zolega Man. Dela. All right, um, Leanne, in just a moment, uh, we're going to leave the house and uh, the procession, of course, will head towards uh, the Bryanston Methodist Church. I'm going to, Leanne, just pause for just a moment as that... Um, coffin comes outside of the house and uh, she heads to her final resting place. I will pause in just a moment as that.
Right, uh, Leanne and Sakina, um, the cortege. Uh, Leanne and Sakina, that's where we're going to have to leave it for now as we uh, proceed with the procession to the uh, Bryanston Methodist Church.